Before I start this video, I just want you guys to know if you do this to your Western Digital hard drive or any hard drive enclosure whatsoever out there, you void every single warranty, so I cannot take responsibility, but I want to use this in my NAS server, so uh, let's get started. So my last video was on this EasyShare Western Digital, but the reason I bought this is because inside of it has an eight terabyte drive, and I wanna put that in my NAS server. So if you see this case, it's really hard to get the hard drives out. So all you would do is, you see these little plastic clips, you need to find some kind of card or something, like so when this is closed down, you want to find a bunch of these cards and you want to put it around these edges on both sides. So here's another look at it. And once you release these clips here, you can put a piece of plastic here in the front and start pushing this back. And then you would have the exposed hard drive. Now let's take a closer look at this and see how it's mounted in here. And I can see over here on the edge, it's kind of just sitting in there. So all you would do is just kind of take the whole piece out like this. And there you go. So you need to have a kit kind of like this that has all type of different hex keys as well as flat heads. So uh, I found the right one and to be honest with you guys, it's not really labeled here so I can't tell you which one it is. But with this kit, you can find the right one. So all you want to do is just unscrew all these little adapters right here. And there's one little screw right here for the controller. So we're just gonna go ahead and unscrew that as well. And that's just a regular Phillips. And this is a little plastic piece you need to pull off. And then it needs to slide off the SATA connection right there. So once you get all that done, here's an eight terabyte hard drive you can use in anything that you want. So here's the hard drive that came out of my case. You can see that it's an eight terabytes and it has a SATA reading of six gigabytes per second. Now it doesn't have the RPMs or the cache on it. So I'm assuming this is 7,200 RPM and it has a cache of 128, but I'll do some further research to figure that out. So uh, that's pretty much what it looks like. I'm gonna be installing this into my NAS server to use with my Plex. And uh, if you guys uh, take this out, just keep in mind that this is not warranty. You lose all your warranty when you do this, but if you need to do it, this is how you do it. I'm Tech Steve, and if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.